just want to show you how I'm progressing here. Um, I need to do a bit of customising to fit these um, lights in. And um, take that's not down properly. That's why it looks a bit funny there. Um, just want to show you this. The lights don't sit flush against the top part of the tailgate. I'm going to get some double-sided tape about that thickness and stick it against the body itself. And then I'll bolt the lights back in, kind of like give it a like a rubber look there, make it look like it's part of it. But what I've had to do to customise these in is I've had to um, come down here. I've had to cut a piece out which um, I'm yet to file down and get some spray paint on there and so forth. Yet to do. Uh, reason being is because um, with these new lights, <clears throat> the reverse light part at the back isn't normally there, so that piece of metal is normally there. And for these lights to fit in, you have to um, cut that bit out for the reverse light part there to slip in and uh, and now you get to the point where you're like this and you're like what the hell is stopping you from going the rest of the way in and uh, it took me a little bit to work out why I couldn't get the lights to go further in now I've already hit it, done it on the other side but um, I'll show you it's here shit that's not good it's alright landed on grass see this bit here um, that's just a like a pivot hole for the for the light to go in there. Don't see that pin there. Now that goes in there, but it's not going in at the moment because of like there's a little bit of a bump there. You see that? Now what you got to do is you got to like get a screwdriver, just kind of like bring it out. No, it's too big that screwdriver. Sorry, I'll just... Um, there it is. So I'm going to get a little bit of a screwdriver in there that fits in there. You need to bring that out like that. And now you need to hammer that flat down. I'll just show you. Okay, now you can see there's no longer a little bump there. And that's good to go there. So I'll put the light in and show you. And there you go, there's the light in there, in place. There's one other cut that I forgot to show you a second ago, which I'll show you right now. Put that back out. Uh, you need to also cut, uh, there it is there, as you can show you. So there's a, normally a plate there that the old light would use that part there to bolt down. Now that part there can't be used anymore. So you need to cut that out. So you've got the that bit there cut out. This part here cut out. And that will make room for this extra part here and the reverse light that wouldn't normally fit. And um still got a bit to go on this. So this is kind of like a day one video if you wish, um, but I'll make them all just one video when I'm finished here. I need to clean up the area, get some double sided tape, file these areas down, paint them. I'm going to use some um, electrical wire, the outer part of electrical wire to put over the new area that I've cut there, just to prevent rusting and so forth for later. And um, bolt it all down and just can have a look then. And the, the side ones though, the indicators, they just go straight on. There's no modifications needed except for the wiring, which I haven't screwed this one in yet so I can show you. These here just go straight on. The clips on the back there are pretty tight. Now what you will have to do is um the fitting there doesn't fit the fitting that's already a part of the Tarago. 
So what I need to do is uh, from the old light, I need to solder the connection from the old light onto there to make it work. Well here's the lesson learnt. What you want to do is um, you want to put the middle part on first because it lines up to the existing holes. What's there? And uh, by having these bits here, that's where you need to drill the new holes. You get the middle part on first because it won't go on. I have to take the two side mirrors, off, two side uh, lights off now to get this to go on. And um, get that bolted down there first. And um, yeah, then go from there. Uh, the chrome part does unclip um, quite easily, but at the same time, you don't want to. So you don't want to grab one side and go reef. You just want to just kind of like jimmy it out slowly, along evenly, and it comes off. It comes off pretty easily. So um, yeah, the center part first. Then you put the sides on, and then you put the cream on last. Okay, so we're still going here. Um, getting this piece on here, the center piece. Uh, there's three bolt holes already there, or three holes rather, um, already there, I had to drill a fourth one up this end here, when I push it down, it doesn't look like it's coming in all that much there, but um, hey this is just kind of like trial and error too, putting it together, first time I've, first time I've ever done it, um, so others can learn from what I'm doing here too, I'm going to record the whole thing whether I do it right or wrong and then have to fix it you will know about it ok so I'm showing you here the side that um, already had the screw holes bolt holes um, comes off probably about I'd say 5mm where the other side where I drilled the hole that one probably about yeah I'd say close to a centimetre gap difference and that's bolted up hard against it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that in there um, kind of like a larger area where it can slide up and down so the first three that will bolt in will pull it into um, where it should be I hope and the fourth one can bolt up to wherever the rest of it's aligned to you know, see how we go for that okay I think I found the reason why it doesn't want to sit in properly on this side um, so I've made the hole go further up but the bolt is pushing further down I think I've um yeah, wrongly judge that, and uh, I'm going to make the hole go a little bit further down. Um, so you've got one side sitting flush, but this side here is not quite. Okay, you can see there, one side's coming flush against it. But this side here, I just can't seem to get it to come down enough. Even though I'm um, made the hole bigger and everything, it's, it goes in easier, easier now. Still, that little bit of... Um, part here, I'll show you this. this part here is probably coming, like stopping it about that much too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a hammer and knock that bit there in a little bit, rather than modifying this area here, I want to just gonna knock that in a little bit so it can tighten up closer to the van and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we're getting there, it's, um, that did the trick, Hang it, banging that bit um, of the boot in. Or the target rather, so it's sitting nice along there now. Now bolting it back up, I'm bolting it down. Uh, I've got four to do. You see where a tricky bugger in there is. I've had to loosen the bracket here off to get to um, the bolt in there. And you've got the other one over here that's already bolted up, already done. And there's another one there. It's um, not as hard to get to, but still my stuff is not going to fit through there. I'll have to put it in from the other side and then bring the ex extension through the hole. So, yeah, big job. I didn't expect it to be like this. Okay, you can see it's starting to come together. Problem is um, now I've got, when I bolt this side down here, this side here stays loose like that. Not just that bad, I haven't got a bolt it down yet, but it bubbles a little bit. So I've um, investigated a little bit, 
and um, just put that out there. Now you got a screw that goes there. And where that lines up is just above here. So it's on the drill another hole so we can um, make it room for that screw there. Try not to break nothing. I'll cry if I do. And um, then this I can bolt against it, pull this side down, stop it from wobbling. Alrighty. Okay, just showing you here. I've um, cleaned up the area with a file. And then I've um, got some coaxial cable and stripped the shielding off it, the rubber shielding, and um, placed it around all the area, areas there. So it doesn't look so so bad to a fresh cut and to avoid rust. Maybe up there as well. So, um, yeah, I'll start putting the rest of these lights in. See how we go. There's a few um, tricky spots that I have to do. Uh, there's a to put this side light in. I have to draw a hole through here, big enough, um, say 12 mil hole. I'm gonna have to make there because the bolt I need to get to is on the other side, and it's um, just it's a little bit of a trick to um, try and get a nut onto the thread. Uh, but easier if I drill a hole there, there's no nothing in the way there that's going to be a reason, you know, a problem for me to drill a hole there. It's not going to weaken anything. Um, so yeah, slowly moving forward. I'll keep going. Okay, see if we can get the sun out of the way here. Alright, another problem that I had was um, that pin there I spoke about earlier uh, and how to unflatten um, that it was still a problem. The pin uh, gets bigger towards the end there. Let's zoom in there. And uh, that was too thick to go through the original hole. So I've had to drill the hole out, put it on, and now, uh, look at that, beautiful. So now I can bolt it down and um, get to the other side. So we're starting to look pretty good now. I've had to do the same to the left hand side as what I did to the right hand side, so there's enough footage on that, I think. And uh, still got to change that indicator there. Look how ugly that is <laughs> compared to that. I like it. And that's, yeah, that's my reverse light. I like to see behind me as much as I like to see in front of me, whichever direction I'm going. A little reverse camera there. So, um, yeah, she's coming together quite well. Still got a whole bunch of wiring to do. Uh, all the plugs that are on the lights that came are not the same fittings as the lights that were on the Tarago. So, um, I might have to cut the old plugs off the old lights and put them on these lights, or see if I can find plugs for these lights and solder them onto the current wiring. Oh, not quite finished yet. I still want to make a bit more footage of um, when the old wiring's all done and if I run into any trouble doing that and um, what it looks like when they're turned on. So I just want to show you here. This is um, a finished product. Um, you see I can change the reversing light easy enough and I can change one of the bulbs for um, braking tail but the other braking tail is up behind there so to get that I'd have to take the light out to change that one particular bulb I don't fancy drilling another hole about here somewhere to get to that one so that's alright there um, this is the one of the holes I've had to drill for the extension bar to go through and I um, had to reach around and put the socket on the other side of the extension bar once it's put through so I can get to the bolt up the end there you can't really see it there but that's yeah 
Um, you got the screw there that I've held in. That's because of the the guiding pivot that was on the outside um, to hold that in. I'm sure there's some sort of plastic grommet I could get for that. Um, I've been trying to search for it. I can't really find anything, but I'll go on time, I guess. Um, so that's the left hand side there and the right hand side much easier to get access to the bolts and everything there same story on this side Put the screw there to hold the tailings from wobbling about hold it in place better <clears throat> um, that's about it you got the the nut here the one that's the extra one I had to drill for the chrome piece on the outside, the center piece of the lights. That's about that there. And that's what they look like. Very happy with them. Much better looking. And you got the right hand indicator done. I've had to had to wire up the old plug to the new light. So I didn't have the other end, the other connection to the, the other way around to make an adapter like I did before. And uh, on the blinker, I've got an extra wire that's hanging there. It's for a white light. So um, I've got a two tone. You can almost see that with the camera. Wow. I've got a two tone light in there, orange and white. So at the moment, it'll be working as a blinker as it should. In time, it will also be a reverse light. Just this is the beginning stage of getting the lights done. Once they're all done, then I'm going to do the wiring for the blinkers and reverse lights to um, share the same area. With the two different colours. Now the <laughs> all right. What I've got to do here is um, this is the plug that came with it with the JDM tail lights, and uh, this is the plug I cut off the old tail lights. I'm going to need to use this because I don't want to cut the harness on the on the van and um, solder these ones on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a um, an adapter from the old plugs, from the old lights, and the new plug. Now the colour coding on these lights, on these wires for both, are the same. Um, there's a slight difference in this one here. You got the green with the lighter green trace, but then it's got the silver taggings on it where the old wire doesn't have those silver taggings but it's a green with the green trace. Um, apart from those silver taggings, the color wire, the colors of the wires are the same but the pattern of how they're soldered, or not soldered, rather joined inside are also different. I'll show you like this opposite side here, you can see that the white with black traces on top White with black traces on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to match up the colours right now and um, plug it on and see what the tail lights do. Now I'm going to assume that because the colours of the wires are the same, this part here won't matter to me. It's just that's the way it's been wired into the light itself, and that would have to be it. Um, but if there is a drama, um, I'll um, record it and let you know. Okay, so there's my adapter there. I'm not going to put the heat shrink over the joints just yet. I um, just want to connect it to the van and um, test it out. No, I just put some um, a little bit of electrical tape just to prevent any shorting out. Last thing I want is to um, plug all this in and the wires touch each other and all hell breaks loose. I'm going to plug it on now and um, give you a look.
Uh, put the heat shrink over it. And um, I'll put some um, electrical tape over that as well. And there you have it. Finished product. Sweet as. And do the same to the other side.